battle over coverage for pre-existing conditions is underway tonight. Well, the state assembly taking up that measure that would guarantee health insurance if the federal Affordable Care Act were to be repealed. Rose Schmidt joins us live at the state capitol. She has the very latest. Rose? Well, we just learned actually that the full assembly has actually just passed this bill. We were unsure of whether or not that would happen considering the assembly needed to have time for Governor Evers to set up tonight. Now, just within the last hour, Evers responded to this bill saying that it, he condemned Republicans for playing politics. Earlier today, Speaker Robin Voss said Republicans amended the measure to ease some of Evers concerns, including eliminating yearly and lifetime caps. But Minority Leader Gordon Hinz complained the measure did not go far enough and said Republicans, if they really wanted to protect pre-existing conditions, they would withdraw Wisconsin from a lawsuit to disband the ACA. Well, my colleagues will say that they believe Obamacare is the real solution. The reality is that there's no guarantee the Affordable Care Act will remain in place. So it might sound well in principle, and people probably will say it's great to do this, but in reality, if the law is declared unconstitutional, the ACA, and nothing is done, this would be a Band-Aid at best. Senate Majority Leader Scott Fitzgerald is not saying whether or not the Senate will vote on this bill, but Republicans, considering they did not meet Governor Evers' demands, it's unclear whether or not the governor will sign it. And we've learned that this bill was actually bipartisan with a vote that, that just passed within the last five minutes or so. All right, I'm going to send it back to you. All right, Rose Schmidt, live at the state capitol. Rose, thank you. Miller